Hello YouTube, Damien here, and welcome to episode three of Can We Do It Better than Graham Potter. We're in the beta, it's brighted, and don't get me wrong, today is going to be the game against Everton, but I did want to give you the recruitment screen, because I was impressed with it at the start, and I'm impressed with it again, and I thought, you know what, this is a beta, I meant to highlight some features, this is one that I really like. Look how good this screen looks. You got your recruitment focus on the far side, people that we got listed, loan listed people, people we've transferred out, and the two people I have transferred in myself, and we got both boys that I made a bid for in last episode. Andreas is here, and he got injured in the 93rd minute of his first friendly with a knee injury or twisted ankle, apologies. Um, so he's out for the next nine days to three weeks, and Taram has not played a game because he's literally just joined. This guy will be your starting centre mid this year. In terms of the screen, I love it. You've got transfer activity, which is just your normal screen. You've got your recruitment focuses, so people that we're trying to look at. You know, you've got the things that we're applying for. You can edit it. You can delete stuff from here as well. Um, you know, and all this sort of stuff too. And it gives you things that, you know, you can work on. So like transfers and loans of people, etc. I, I like this a lot. You've got listed players. You've got your transfer history. And obviously then your overview screen, which is great. Now skip the recommendations. They have made a recommendation that we should be looking at Connor Bradley. And the reason why we're looking at Connor Bradley is I need a backup right back. He's on loan for Liverpool. I think someone may be in the future. But what I love about the scouting screen is near matches. And there's two that are close. You got this guy here who's a Chilean who has been capped three times by Chile. I need a backup right back. He could get a work permit. He's also Belgium, which could help with a work permit. Yet again, he would normally not come up because it's a close match to what I'm looking for. He's someone with a little bit of potential. That could be a backup ring back that can sit around, not play too many minutes, and still be happy. Someone that we might look at. Um, and the second one there was this guy I learned from Huddersfield, or I learned from Villa, I should say, and there you are. And there's one in process. There's a guy from, the, um, from Copenhagen who I think is the pick of the bunch. But I love that about how they're doing there. So other recommended players? By all means. Recommended other recommended players? And then you can go straight back there and you can show report cards, which I think is there as well. And the report cards are the old way of having a look at it. Um, but, you know, you've got recommended players and you've got Mano, who, um, Milanis, who looks pretty good as a midfielder. Has to be said. A plus, very good, can get up and down. Gross has had an injury, he's 30 something. Maybe we get him in the play centre mid because we got the money from Cucurella. Um, but he's not bad. You've got Francis, who is a player people will know. You've got Victor Hugo as a centre back. 31 is decent. And they just give you options of people that they think are going to be good enough to come in and do a job. Jerome Botain being one who's cheap and could maybe be an option even, you know, going whatever, which is not bad. Um, but as you can see here, we're not too bad. And you show the other people that are recommended. you got two and you got one. And I love it. And that's the meeting. So, like, that's the meeting. So it's no longer go, oh, you have to click and see what positions they like and what they don't like and press so many buttons. It's, this is the meeting. You set it up in your first meeting, what you want. And over time, we'll give you players that we think are close to that or near misses. And we'll give you a few players that we've scouted during these games that we think are good enough to come into the first team as well. So much more streamlined. Love it so much more. In terms of preseason, I've got a couple games ago. I've got Benfica and Cecina. Won every game. Kept the clean sheet against Piscara and Crawley, which is great. Match engine looks fantastic. And that's my last point is we're going to actually see a match in full against Everton. When I mean in full, on key highlights. But you're going to get an episode of me playing Everton on the opening day. And I'll be back with that game there. And maybe another signing. Who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. We'll make one more. Welcome back, YouTube. It is Everton at Goodison Park, the opening day of the Premier League, and we have finally got a gameplay, or an actual game of gameplay, to give you in our beta episode. Since we last met, we've gone and done pre-season. It's gone very well. Haven't made a signing, but um, as you can see, pre-season won every game in the system. System's as good as it was at the end of FM22, which is great. The team plays really well in it. Spanking Benfica, has to be said, which is always nice to see. And hopefully we can put in a good show here against Everton. Now, in terms of the team, I have picked what I believe is our best 11 and our best 9 as it stands right now. Normally, I don't choose a backup keeper, but with the lack of depth that we do have at Brighton, I have the biggest squad in the world. Find it hard to have that one spot. But I do think that we're going to, uh, you know, eventually sign a proper backup right back and he'll probably slot in there. Anyway, your team for the opening day is as follows. It's Sanchez with Webster and Dunk. have a very good understanding. Lampty, um, you know, looks very good. Cecido is one of the best wonder kids on FM. He is crazy this year. He's 17 tackling, very mental. Hopefully, grows a lot. Stupian. Turan making his debut with Gross. 
Um, Pascal Gross loves it in there. Um, the Callister behind Welbeck and Trossard have looked really good so far in preseason. Um, in terms of the bench, you know, if you Adam Lallana on Football Manager, he's still perceived as very good for the level. Real life, he knows he's at the end of his career. Definitely a good player to bring off the bench. Andreas has been injured and coming back to fitness, um, but we'll put him on the bench anyhow. Um, and Julio is the only real striker I've put on the bench because I don't think Undav's that great. And the other striker in Ferguson's a young kid who's not ready. The 18-year-old has played five times for Paraguay, has scored goals for fun up front in the younger games, um, in the younger games, the under-18 games. Um, and in preseason, has played up front and done well. For me, he's got a good amount of dribbling, acceleration, agility, against tired defences up front, and as an advanced forward, I think he could be a really good option as well. Um, but probably Shylights, so we don't have enough of the depth. On the bench as well was Billy Gilmore, Solly March, who's going to play left-back or right-back if needed, um, and Levi Colwell on loan from Chelsea. He has some really good potential. Um, I will see what we can do with him. He's still pretty good physically, and hopefully we can get him going as well. Uh, Jason still needs a number. Number 12 is a backup goalkeeper number, so in he goes as well. Uh, boys are feeling confident about the shape, etc., etc., which is good to see too. And we have got Everton on the opening day, and hopefully it's going to be a good game. Now, I do play on key. I do recommend to play on extended, but we are going to play on key. I'm actually going to go play golf with Paulie, who uh, I do the FPL podcast with. Links are down below. Come follow us live where we do the FL, FPL podcast, FPL Dopata on YouTube. Um, and we are underway here. They are lining up with Morpay, Gordon, McNeil, Inanna, Doncora, Gwaii, um, and I missed their back four, Illinois Pickford's in net. First highlight, though, is Lamptey turning into Dunk, who's still got the captain's armband. Fires out a Webster. Just, I do love how this looks like a three. Yeah, it could be a bit more shaped across, but that's fine. Generally how this 4 one 2 one 2 plays. Anyway, Webster will carry and moves. And a great ball to Taram, the Stupian. Can turn out and does, and Webster now. Needs some options. Sesedo out the dunk. Ball out the Lamptey is very much on. Ignored the pass, did dunk. In the end, finds Sesedo into Gross first time. Gray ball to Trossard. In one on one is Trossard. And in the end, it was a tackle that was blocked. And yeah, that's probably your highlight. Well, maybe not. Tyrone wins it back high, but that's it. Good pass. Good play. Good pass and moving situation for Brighton, but no goal. McNeil down the line looking for more pay. Finds him. Good tackle from Dunk. And he now picks it up and finds McAllister. Great ball. Good touch and turned out. And plays Cicido. Gross. Webster. Love this 4 1 2 3, which is a glorified free at the back system. Played well. Great ball to Trossard. Got numbers inside. In the end, did neither. Probably should have whipped it with his left peg. Instead, he looked to turn around and then did nothing. He forced him long. And in the end, Lamptey in a great spot to win that. Gross. McAllister needs options. Gross. Big switch out to a Stupian. Poor ball, to be fair. Killed all the momentum. Great ball back stick, though. Danny Welbeck with a header. Pickford with a save. And in the end, Pickford lucky enough to pick that one back up. Not the cleanest highlight, but a chance. And judging from the XG, probably should have scored by now as well. Been the better side, but that doesn't mean Jack at 0-0. And Don Cora finds Coleman who can whip. Gordon can definitely whip. McNeil's there, and mercifully... Still nil-nil after Everton have their first shot. Sanchez, Webster. Left-hand side to a Stupian. Well built out. Now we can find Cicido if he wants to go back a line. Instead, he looked for Lamptey. Decent ball into the space. Lamptey took forever to get there, but plays a great ball in a well back. Two against one. Trossard, one nil. Trossard scores our first goal of the season. He also wants to leave. Um, I've had a couple of people in my Twitch chat today saying Trossard just says he wants to leave. First thing you do when you load up the FM at the end of his contract. He does have a contract extension um, in his clause, so I've extended the contract. Anyway, Lamp Lampty, great ball in a well back. First time into Trossard, and, well, Pickford probably could do not better, but the animation could be a little bit better there for Pickford. But great goal, good finish. We lead 1-0. We've made the domination of the stats count so far, and we have deserved that. Coleman off injured, not good there for Everton, but... So far, not too bad. A set piece, and I haven't really seen one in preseason. Pascal Gross goes back stick, Webster heads, Pickford saves, and the next header from Trossard was over. Great save from Pickford to keep this still at 1-0. We arguably should have had a goal or two in this half. Luckily enough, we've got at least one. Trossard, Turam on his debut. Sacido wins it back. Great ball to Gross. The ball needs to find Lamptey. Instead, it was ignored. Gross then went himself, and that was poor. We force him long, and Sacido's everywhere. Gross, Sacido, great ball to Lamptey, Trossard wants it, Trossard gets it, and it's a mistake 
on Trossard's behalf, a poor finish, but great football, great ball in between the channels, and you can see in the mo in the match engine, the passing is so much more crisp in terms of penetration. It's no longer, oh, it has to go to the wing-back's foot out wide and he beats the player. Oh, no, we put him in to create the passing opportunity. Very pleased with the half so far, boys. Great 45 minutes. The only thing we needed out of that 45 minutes was a goal, was another goal. It was 2 new, and I'm really happy. Gross has got a... Uh, Gash lower leg. He's been dealing with injuries in preseason. I am going to get Billy Gilmore in as well. Couple of bookings out there. Cecito on a booking. Lampy on a booking. The Stupid on a booking. Not going to make a change just yet. Solid March. They warm up there for a Stupid, I think. And that will be my next change. And I am going to make that one now. And Solid March is going to come out there for a Stupid. And 68 minutes played, free kick, McAllister, back stick, headed, and over the bar again. Been the better side, but only 1-0. And history on FM22 would say in the system we concede a goal a large percentage of the time in games. They've got two injuries there, Everton, but a highlight. Holgate throws the McNeil. Good tackle, McAllister, Sacido. Great ball out, good composure from Sacido. Lamptey picks it up, got options... And chose the wrong one and gave Mikalenko. And now Damani Gray and Morpay loves the ball in the area. So does McNeil, and that's one all. A mistake from Lamptey, and there's the goal. It's one all. We've been pegged back. <sighs> and not exactly what you want to see out there. Gray's ball, McNeil back stick, one all. Been the much the better side, one mistake, and that's what it takes at this level. Um, we're going to make one last change here. I'm actually going to get Asensio in for McAllister, move Trossard back a line. Um, quick. And there we are. Actually, we can make more than five changes. We can make five changes. I forgot about that. Apologies, YouTube. But anyway, Trossard. Corner. Free. That's a pen. I haven't seen it through preseason once, a penalty from a corner. But that's a pen. Worldbet's going to have a chance from the spot. Up there, Danny Welbeck. He's had a really great game out there, to be fair. It's not going to be Welbeck, actually. It's going to be Trossard. It is going to be Trossard versus Pickford. He's known to save penalties. Pickford saves the pen. There you are. Look, we're going to get a bit FM'd here, but is what is. Have a dig. I would have just dig Sacido. That's. Yeah. Well, there we go. We've missed the pen. We've been dominant on the opening day, but no uh, no biscuits at the minute. Welbeck! Oh, he's hit the bar. Should have been the one taking the pen. Welbeck again doesn't win that one. And Esso is offside. In the end, left it for Holgate to head away. And that's probably your highlight. Missed the penalty and hit the bar on the same highlight. Trossard's missed the pen. And he's missed a couple of clear-cut chances. If Everton win this, this is going to be the ultimate FMing on the opening day. Cleared away. Lamptey's going to have time and space. Made a mistake for the goal with a bad, poor pass. Finds Welbeck. Needs options. Welbeck. Lamptey. Great ball. Oh, Pickford, what a save. Ford and Esso on his debut off the bench has scored the winner. Pickford's having a weldy. Pickford is having a weldy. Unbelievable. Trossard now. He's had a stinker. We can look solely at Trossard for the reason of winning this game. He had, he's missed two clear-cut chances, has scored a goal, and then missed the pen. Taking forever to whip it. Does whip it. Webster. Heads over. There you go. This is going to be one of those ones where you're just going to get annoyed at. Well, same old football manager, huh? Same old, same old. Opening day, one shot for Everton for one mistake has led to a goal. We've had 19 shots, nine on target. Trossard's missed two clear-cut cutbacks from inside the six-yard box when a penalty, and actually a 4.4, and we have lost on the opening day. We've drawn on, sorry, on the opening day. It feels like a loss. We've drawn on the opening day of the Premier League here at Goodison Park. Look, at the end of the day, if we play like this for the season, we're going to have a very good year. Unfortunate. And, you know, at the end of the day, Pickford, man of the match, was a different kettle fish. Now, the fact Pickford's on a 7.9, I have an issue with, because he saved a penalty. 90th minute save from point blank range. And 
sort of safe throughout the game. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, YouTube, that's going to be me done. Great little uh, episode, this one here. Highlighted that the mention has a lot of good qualities about it. But at the same stage, if you don't put away your chances, you're still going to get FM this year on FM as well. But till next time, I'll see you for another game throughout the season. We'll wrap up any sort of transfer dealings, anything else like that. But till then, from Damo and everybody else here in the stream, see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.